As a people, we are now faced with a decision that will influence the character of our nation and its reputation in the eyes of the world. We can reject White House policy and join the international community by honoring our commitments under the UN Convention as well as under US law and banning torture unconditionally. Or we can agree with the Bush administration's decision to make torture a permanent weapon in the arsenal of American power. As a powerfully symbolic state practice, synonymous with brutal autocrats, torture, even of the few, even of one, raises profound moral and legal issues about the limits of presidential power, the quality of our justice, and ultimately the character of this American civilization. But remember, in this political decision, as in all political decisions, our silence is tantamount to consent. That's Alfred McCoy, features Alfred McCoy on the politics of torture. Bush administration claims of moral superiority, dedication to human rights, adherence to domestic and international law are becoming increasingly difficult to sustain. Its record is littered with the planning and waging of aggressive war, ghost detainees, kidnappings, ghost flights, extraordinary rendition, secret prisons, extrajudicial executions, and a pattern of torture with CIA involvement. From Guantanamo to Iraq to Afghanistan, the United States has created an archipelago of gulags. Incidents of torture, when they are discovered, are routinely attributed to a few out-of-control rogue elements, like Charles Grainer and Lindy England. They and a handful of low-ranking soldiers have been punished, but the higher-ups have gotten a free ride. Evidence amassed by Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and other independent observers strongly suggest that torture is part of U.S. policy. But maybe we shouldn't worry. The leader of the free world reassuringly tells us, if they are saying we torture people, they're wrong period. To talk about these issues is Alfred McCoy. He's professor of history at the University of Wisconsin. He's the author of the classic The Politics of Heroin, CIA Complicity in the Global Drug Trade. For Closer Than Brothers, his book on the impact of CIA torture on the Philippine military, he was awarded the Goodman Prize. His latest book is A Question of Torture. Today I will probe the politics of torture under the Bush White House, exploring the process which has led this administration to defy the international community in ways that may make this great nation a moral rogue state. 